Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna explore Power Apps a little bit more. I will be showing how you can connect your Excel file to Power App and you can quickly build Power App forms using your Excel file. So I'm just gonna demo that without wasting any time. It will be done only in few minutes. So I have this Excel table here. So this one is just client information. You have client unique ID, first name, last name, gender, country and age. Very straightforward table. So if I want to create a Power App form for this table, I need to put this table somewhere, this Excel file. So for now, what I will be doing is I will just create, um, put it on my OneDrive, uh, the Excel file, and I will just drag and drop into my OneDrive in Office 365. Um, so you will see that uh, the client data test file excel file is there now i want to create a power app form for for this excel file to manage so adding new entries um updating the string entries uh, or deleting entries to do that uh i need to do i need to open power apps uh, so the way you can do it is from this um of this is five all apps and if i scroll down you can see power apps or you can directly go to powerapps.com so i'm all logged in i want to connect uh, my power apps to excel file so i will use from a data source so if i click on other data source i have already made a connection to uh, the, my OneDrive. if you don't have that you can just go ahead and create new connection so I've already created a connection to my SharePoint and OneDrive as well. So I'll just click on the OneDrive. It will show me the list of Excel files potentially available in that OneDrive. So I will just select my first one and just show me this one table in there. So I just connect to the table. What it's going to do is going to now create uh, the Power App forms. Um, you will see uh, here. It's already created them really quickly. So you have three screens. You have browse screen, detail screen, and edit screen. So browse screen is when you are looking for information and you can uh, sort. Um, whereas detail screen is that when you are on a particular record, you can see the details of it. And then edit screen when you're creating a new record or adding an existing record. So if I go back to the browse screen quickly, the first thing I want to change is the table heading so at the moment it's just saying table one so I'll just say clients uh, that has been updated now if I see here that is showing me age or ID or the country I want to change this information um, for the client so if I go click on browse gallery on the browse screen I will be seeing the this added fields here um, so you can also change the layout here so if I just show you quickly so you can have a different type of layouts if you have images you can have images on the left and title uh, on the right as well i'll just leave it as it is title subtitle and body um just come out of that um so if i click back on this one i will click on edit fields um, now you can see in the body your country and subtitle is unique id and title is age so maybe i want to show uh, the title as the name um, so if I click on this one, it will change it to first name. But now you can see um, the first name, this item dot first name appear here. So maybe I want to sh show first name and last name. So what can you just do? You can do and and put a space in there and do and again and say this item dot last name. So what this will do is you can see that it's putting the first name and last name of the person um, concatenate them in, in one uh, line um, now for the for the subtitle um, I want to probably I want to show the person age yeah so we can click on the age um, and the, and the body I I will keep it as a country so that's fine so now you can see that you can see more information on uh, here before you even click through and see the detail the other thing i want to quickly go through the detail and edit screen so if i click on the detail screen you can see the um the age id and country and it's like it's not really a 
user friendly so you should be looking putting first name and last name at the first entry when you see the detail or same for the edit screen so I will quickly first change uh, the title so we'll just call it client client detail um, so the other thing I will do is if I go on detail form 1 you can see this edit field uh, link here if I click on that I can uh, easily drag the first first name on the top and then last name and then maybe age and then maybe gender and then maybe country and then we can keep the client unique ID in, in the last so that's how you can and that's how you can shuffle the columns there now if I again go to the edit one again it's the same thing so if I just uh, open the edit screen and uh, click on the edit form I can see edit field and I can quickly move first name last name um, age and then gender and then country and then client unique ID um, and also I will probably go ahead and update me client I'll just say client for now here so if I just test that now um, you will see if I go back to the browse screen um, and I just click on um, so you can see that it's, it's giving me a list of all the clients from the Excel file um, when I click on one of the client detail um, so for example this one uh, it give me in the client detail the way we want it to look like um, you can go ahead and delete this client or you can edit this client detail so for example if I go and uh, edit this client detail for instance so if I just go there and change the country from uh, France to Germany and just save and it will save the information there so it's in the client information is updated now to prove that if I go back to my OneDrive Mm. I can see uh, that the last uh, this client uh, information has been updated or not um, so if I go to the record I can uh, scroll down to look for the record uh, so you can see this this client here and its location is updated to Germany the country um, so if I just close this one again and uh, what I will probably do is uh, I will go ahead and create a new client. Uh, so I will just say, say Paul, last name is Smith, and then age is maybe 30, gender is male, country is United Kingdom, and unique ID is 888999. And I hit save, and this will save the information in, in the Excel file. Um, to view that if I just go again to my OneDrive and look for the Excel file I'll just open it up and towards the end you will see that uh, the Paul Smith is added as a new entry now you have noticed that that there is a power apps ID get created so this is a unique ID which power app provides for, for each of this uh, row we create and based on that it, it does the update lead um, record as well so once you're done with all the all the changes you can just go to file and save and just give it a app name and just clients record um, so in the cloud you can save as a power app just click save it's gonna just create a power app for you now if I click on apps I can see the client records app is there so if I click on that you can see that it is loading the information from Excel file and you can see the detail and you can do um, update and um, delete and stuff thank you very much for watching this video if you have any question please put them in the comment section below I'll be happy to answer them and don't forget to subscribe my channel I'll be coming up with new videos around Office 365 uh, every week thank you